Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be building and reviewing the brand new, currently unreleased Nis Hellion. Um, I say currently unreleased, it is part of the drip feed from the Casino and Resort DLC. And at the recording of this video, it is currently unreleased. So as you can see, it is an SUV, an off-roader in the off-road category. It is going to cost you $835,000. So this is a very expensive off-roader. Um, it, it doesn't really excite me that much. You know, I think it just looks bog standard, basic. Um, nothing crazy from stock, you know. It looks just like a standard um, off-roader. A little bit like a G-Wagon. But it just looks bog standard, nothing special. So hopefully we can get some real nice um, customization going with this, but that's yet to be seen. So we are going to crack on. We're going to start with 100% body armor. We're going to get race brakes for the bumper, front bumper. So straight off the bat, it looks like we have quite a lot of options, which is awesome. Because like I said, this car looks very, very standard nothing special about it at all so we need to make it stand out and it needs some individuality if people are going to fucking spend eight hundred and thirty five thousand dollars on it because that's a lot of money man for an off-roader that's that's more than the hellfire i think i'm pretty sure that's more than what the hellfire is going to cost and that's that's fucking insanity um so this is going to have to be a fucking don off-road and this is going to have to have some crazy customization for it to be worth anywhere near that amount of money so we're going to go through the customization options for the front bumper so we can delete it front bumper delete that looks pretty awesome and then we can get the ram plate the primary ram plate secondary ram plate and then we've got ball bars which is awesome and then there's differently um differently <laughs> different types of the ball bar obviously primary secondary and then then just the black version of it and then the lifted ram bar and then the primary and secondary versions of that the ball bar two which is awesome the ball bar three that looks cool too so there's loads of options, which is really, really good. Um, that looks awesome. That looks really good. Uh, all of them look really good, actually. I'm not, I'm not going to take anything away from any of these options. They all look really, really cool. Um, I think my favorite was actually removing it. I thought that looked really good. Where is it? Like that. That does look really cool. Um, these RAM plates were fucking awesome as well. I think the lifted RAM bar is most probably my go-to one i think this is probably the best and man that looks awesome in red with the white um for the primary color red and white actually look really nice together especially on a car like this um don't know if i want to get the secondary on it though i think i will because i think that looks awesome like that so i'm gonna go to secondary ram bar then for the rear obviously you can remove it hopefully we get some sort of um option so we can match it to the front not really sure if we can oh so we can get the ram bar so we can yeah so we can match it up which is that's fucking sweet as hell really happy we can do that and we got the um the competition version of that as well so obviously you get the ram bar at the rear but then you also get the cage lights as well which is really cool uh so i'm gonna go with that i'm gonna go with the secondary co um, competition kit so it's the ram bar at the rear but with the addition of the uh tail light cages which looks really really good engine we're gonna get the level four engine upgrade for the exhausts so we've got wow oh the exposed air filters that looks fucking nuts that looks really good <laughs> and this is a type of car that you can go crazy on you know without it looking too out of place if that makes sense we've got the big daddy turbo oh my fucking word that is insane that is the thing of fucking nightmares that is Jesus, the V8, and we've got the fucking, obviously the big block intakes, man, that twin turbo looks awesome, the twin turbo with the air filters look good too, god damn, we've got some good um, good um, customization for this so far, why would you want them crazy ass exhausts at the front there, we want them coming out of the hood, 100%, I don't think I want to remove the hood though, even though they do look really cool, all these options look really good, but I think I want to keep the hood on it. Um, so the only option for that is to go with the exposed air filters or stay stock. But I will go a little bit crazy with it. So I am going to go with the exposed air filters. Um, obviously, I think there's better options in the hood category, uh, you know, visually. 
but um, because I want to keep the hood on and I don't want to stay stock this is the only decent option so that's the one I'm going to go with uh, so next we're going to go to fenders man we've got loads of options for fenders too that's well good loving that so you can remove these um, little black trim fenders which are around there which looks really good removed um, or we can have them in the stock we can have bolt on ones too we can have big ass fucking plastic ones <laughs> so um, I'm not a massive fan of the flares I think I'm just going to delete them I think that looks really good deleted so that's the one I'm going to go with then we've got the grill so we can delete the grill the chrome then black then we've got a mesh that looks really good that's called grated grill I, I really like that it looks cool and then all the others are pretty standard but looks but they all look good man all look really good that's a nice option too the carbon and this grill uh, also that in black it looks really good but my favorite was uh, the grated grill so I'm gonna grab that bad boy Just skip the hood we're gonna go lights and purchase the Xeon headlights then we've got liveries obviously I might even grab a livery for this and because that's why you can't really see it but it does run across the hood and the roof of the car uh, and then the same variant in black atomic sponsor sweet it's all in white um, can't really see it if you keep the car white and then you've got the redwood see these types of liveries do look really cool on this kind of car so I might grab one uh, I'm not really sure oh man <laughs> Oh, that is nuts. That's really good, man. I like the Nightmare. That looks nice. On this type of vehicle. I think, though, you would probably have to change the color of that ball bar at the front and maybe remove the hood. I think that livery would work a little bit better with them options changed. Um, I think I might go, go for it. That is a unique livery. I don't think we've ever seen anything quite like that. Uh, so I don't know. Don't know if I, I think I'm going to get it. I think I'm going to go for it. Um, so I'm going to grab the nightmare, but then I'm going to go back to what was it? The exhaust, and I'm going to change that up as well. Uh, so we're going to remove the hood. So we're going to make this look like a nightmare. I want the triple intake. Nah, I think. Yeah, the twin turbo with the air filters. We're going to get that bad boy. And then, what else we're going to go and change the front bumper. So we want to change that to, we're just going to go with the black. Actually, if I go, no, I'm going to keep it actually as, as the secondary. So then I can go into um, the respray, go to secondary color. I'm going to go, I'll go metallic. Oh, I'll go met oh shit, it changes the engine as well. Okay, that's cool. That is really cool. I like that. Um, yeah, so we're going to stay metallic and I'm going to go with like a lime green maybe or do yellow. That's pretty cool. I look good like that. Let's quickly grab that again. Yeah, do yellow actually looks a little bit better. So I'm going to go do yellow for the secondary for the primary. I'm not sure if we're actually going to see a change. We'll, we will. It's the engine bay. There we go. So it's definitely a change. And also the door handles as well. Lime green looks good. Gasoline green actually looks quite cool too. No, we're gonna go lime green though for the primary. There we go. That looks fucking pretty sweet, I think. I don't know if I want the metallic though. Maybe I'll change them because we're getting a shine on the livery now. Uh, we're gonna go classic actually. Uh, same same colours, but uh, the classic variants instead of the metallic versions of them because, like I said, we're getting a shine on the livery, and I don't want any of that. Alright, so next we've got the roll cage. So we've got a primary cage, secondary cage, or we've got the full primary, or the secondary full. I really dislike the pads on these cages. I don't know why. I just really, really just dislike them. Um, but we are going to go with a secondary half cage, because I think the secondary looks a little bit nicer inside of there. For the roof, we've got the light bar. We've got the raid rack. And we've also got the raid kit. We're going to get the raid kit, obviously. Then we've got the skirts. Loads of options for the skirts. And the customizations on this car so far are fucking awesome. So we've got the slat, the primary, and then the secondary. And then we've got a pipe. 
and then the primary secondary and so on and so forth it's just going to be like a running theme of that um i actually really like the slat i think that looks cool i'm going to get it in the secondary so it matches my ball bars let's just look at the back man that looks cool it's a shame we can't actually change the color of the roof rack but it's all gravy baby we're just going to leave it how it is then we've got a suspension kit i'm not going to muck around with the suspension because it's an off-roader it needs high suspension uh, so we're going to say stock then we've got the transmission we are going to get a super transmission and then we're going to get turbo tuning for the wheels i don't think i want to change these because when you go off-road um category on here you get some really weird looking tires and it puts me off i think they look a little bit yeah they don't look as good as these bad boys so i'm going to stay stock for the wheels and then window plates oh shit oh my god oh damn i wasn't expecting that oh man that looks well good love that not really sure primary secondary though because surely that would be ch it should be changing between lime green and dew yellow but all right not really sure what that's all about but we're just gonna go uh We'll just go primary, why not? Because it's just because it's cheaper. They look exactly the same though to me. And um, then we've got window tint as well. We are gonna go light smoke, so that tints the front out. Man, I weren't expecting that. The window place, that's a nice little addition. Now this looks like a fucking beast mobile now. That's insane. <laughs> Let's get out on the streets. It's a little bit loud, it's a little bit different to um, you know, the other sort of builds that I do. Usually my builds are quite clean and um you know standard not really crazy builds but i thought i'd go a little bit nuts with this one just because there's some really good customization options on this which is a breath of fresh air because there's not many cars in this dlc which have got a lot of um, customization so it's really nice to see that you can actually put your stamp on this and um it it could actually you know you could actually express your yourself with this car in picking loads of different options so um you could probably you pr you'll probably be hard to find um two cars which are the same of um of this of this uh, and this hellion and it being called the hellion it's quite quite fitting don't you think got the nightmare livery it's got a fucking crazy ass hood option you know where you got the twin turbo cone filtered and Man, it just looks fucking nuts. I'm actually really digging the look of it. Like I said, it's not really the type of thing that I usually go for, all this craziness. Uh, but I thought, why the hell not? Let's do it. You know, we've got all these nuts options. We, we might as well make use of them. Um, and it does feel quite quick. Obviously, it's an off-roader, so it's not going to be nuts in the straights. Um, but it feels really grippy. It's definitely going to grip to the ground. And um, no chance of that sliding out, even if I'm trying it's holding in um, but it does feel pretty quick for an off-road I suppose you can hear that that dump valve and that boost go tss, tss, which is great I love that sound Whee! yeah but it does feel really good it actually feels really nice and solid um, in the handling so that's that's kind of what you expect from a car um, in the off-road category especially for eight hundred and thirty five thousand dollars it's got to be something special uh, but like I said at the beginning it needed to have a little something extra for it to be worth that sort of money and it did it, it did have that little something extra but whether it's still worth $835,000 I'm not really sure man it's, it is a lot of dough for an off-road vehicle um, but it does look awesome it does feel really solid in the corners you know, you can move that around with ease and it's not going to spin out. Even if you try to spin it out, it's just going to hold it in there, which is really good. Um, it's not obviously crazy fast because it's an off-road vehicle. Um, but it feels quick for what it is. You know, it don't feel sluggish in any way. And the real test is now going to come when we try and climb up this little cliff here or this little hill, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, it's not crazy steep, but... You know a normal car would struggle to get up here so we're just going to try and see how it does it and it does with ease with ease it's like it's not even a hill you can even reverse up it look at that like it's not even a hill so uh, the traction on this is going to be insane this is definitely a hill climber 
Yeah, he's quite steep. That's quite a steep hill too. You know, I don't think that was. It wouldn't. Well, it wouldn't be easy in like a, a sports car or a supercar. Let's put it that way. Um, so yeah, I think I think this car is actually going to be one of the one of them sort of like I don't know one of the outsiders to start with because obviously it's in the off-road category. Um, it's not going to hold a lot a lot of sex appeal, <laughs> especially at the, at the price tag that it's got. Um, so uh, this is going to be one of them vehicles I don't think you're going to see much of in GTA just purely because of the price and the category that it's in, in it being an off-road vehicle. But hopefully people see this video and they can see that it is an actu it is actually an awesome car. It's got very good attributes in, in regards to its handling and obviously its traction and how it can climb up the hills and just doing the jobs that it's supposed to do. And the customization on it, man, is second to none. It looks really, really good. And I'm really happy with the sort of customizations you can do to it. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I can really say on it. So on that note, I am going to end the video there. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash that like button. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.